Okay, the 318 is out of the Dodge Coronet. Um, the owner of Mr. Automotive, where my car is, that's the Coronet right there. He has a relationship with Merle's Automotive, which is the part supplier. They go over to Sierra Vista to deliver things to a store over there, I guess once a week or so. And so they are willing to take my engine over there to Precision Machine near Fort Huachuca. So this is the 318 out of the 69 Coronet. And just getting ready to load it up on this truck right here and get it over to see uh, Dave. Dave's a member of uh, the Mopar Forum, the B-Body Mopar Forum. So. There we go. Good close-up shot of it right there. And then also the transmission is out. I'm gonna, as long as we're doing this whole thing, I'm gonna take this and have it checked and resealed, you know, do whatever. It seemed to run well um, before we took it out, but I just wanna take the opportunity while it's out to have it looked at, resealed. Then let me just show you real quick the uh, engine bay. Okay, here is the hole where everything was. Um, Tom is gonna work on taking off a bunch of the accessories so it'll be easier you know, to paint the interior, the uh, engine bay, and the whole car is gonna get painted, but we'll be taking off some of that stuff and we're planning to haul it over to the paint shop next week. Um, the engine will be gone two to three months, so we've got time to work on painting. Anyway, that's about it. First step in the process, pull the engine and get it out for rebuild. I'm really interested to hear what the builder says he finds that was making all the noise. So we'll see what happened. Anyway, let's... Uh, Okay, we got the engine on the truck. It's uh, where it came from right here. And there it is. It's going to be on the way to uh, Dave at Precision Machine. And uh, that starts uh, about a three month waiting period for it to get done. So we are. The clock has started. Okay guys, uh, the decision's been made that the car will go to the painter the 1st of May and the engine will be back from the builder around the middle of June and then the car will itself will be done probably in August. To the left is Tom. He's the owner of Vistra Automotive here at uh, Continental and I-19. I um, he's kind enough to help me get the car up on his uh, car trailer here and we're going to go store it in my storage unit while we're waiting for the painter and for the engine. So that's what's going to be happening. Thanks for watching. Okay, thanks to all the horsepower here, these gentlemen strapping the car down, we got it up on the trailer. We're going to transport maybe two miles and uh, then we'll put it in the storage unit. Alright guys, we'll get a little more when we get to the destination. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're here at the storage unit and as you can see it's a long narrow driveway and there's not a lot of room for turning. So this is going to be a bit of a pain to get this car off and in to uh, number 15 over here. That's where we're going. And this, the, the, here's the crew. 
and this is what we have to work with so it's going to be tight quarters i'll come back in a few